I was born in Iraq. Um, Baghdad um, is the city that you all read and hear about in the news, which is very uh, uh, gruesome and uh, very sad. Um, unfortunately, the way Baghdad turned up now is different um, than the way um, I saw it. Um, uh, Baghdad was a very cosmopolitan city. I did medical school in Iraq and everything was fine until that moment when um, uh, I was um, going to, to the hospital on my day-to-day -day work in um, um, and the surgical ward and um, in theatres, uh, all of a sudden my life changed. And I talk about the Wheel of Fortune, that your position on the Wheel of Fortune changes and can be like that, uh, where one day you're on top and the other day you're at the bottom. Um, I was faced all of a sudden with three busloads of army deserters uh, were escorted by the Republican Guards and Ba'ath Party members and they ordered us uh, to abandon the elective lists and start uh, branding these people, the army deserters, by taking part of their ears off, uh, surgically and humanely, under anaesthetics. Um, the head of the department that I worked under um, refused and he came out publicly and openly saying that this is a crime, I would never do that, this is against the Hippocrate Oath, do, not, uh, do, uh, do no harm. So basically, as, you, as the Republican Guards usually do, they took him outside to the car park in front of everybody, they put a bullet in his head in front of all of us. And my life turned upside down from there onward, uh, from a privileged uh, young brat who um, was very spoiled, uh, uh, to an escapee and a traitor to the, to the government and to Bath, uh, the Ba'ath Party. So I decided to take that trip, and um, not knowing what's going to face me, um, and then I took that plane and then sequence of events uh, occurred that led me to be coming up uh, to Australia. We got to Christmas Island eventually. The trip was horrific. But if you ask me that question, would you do it again? Well, you bet I would because I didn't have any other choice. 